do a little reading, and this one's more of a trivia thing that I found interesting that an older brother in Christ sent me yesterday. Matthew chapter 5, Matthew chapter 5 verse 39. But I tell you not to resist an evil person, but whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. This is one of the most quoted verses when it comes to being humble and also not resisting evil or also to not be violent, fighting back, and when it comes to submitting authority, which all these things were what Jesus was talking about here. But Jesus was also giving a way of standing up for yourself while still showing meekness, while still submitting to authority, if you will. Because in the culture of the time, different slapping techniques meant something. When somebody slapped you, it was usually a backhand slap. And, the, and a backhand slap was a sign of showing dominance over someone, while a, a regular slap, as we would do it today, that's... Back then, that was implying that, you know, that person you're slapping is equal to you. So when somebody slapped you on your right cheek, and when you turned the other to them, it left your cheek open to a to a palm first slap, implying that, uh, you know, you still see that person as equal, that you're not uh, letting that person be better than you. That's um, standing up for yourself while also showing meekness. It's n not allowing. It's not allowing evil to have its way, while also still submitting to authority. You know, if authority is, you know, the one doing the slapping. I just thought that was interesting, and that. Yes, well, Jesus does expect us to be meek he does expect us to submit to authority but he also doesn't want us to be pushovers either that's not that wasn't what he was getting at it's a lot of it's something i think a lot of people get confused on anyways guys i hope this video has blessed you i hope you found it interesting hope to see you in the next one god be willing god bless you all